it was statistically significant that the folks that ate the highest amount of ultra processed foods had a very slight increased risk to develop a first demyelinating event. That's actionable to me. I spent a lot of time in clinic identifying people that might be at risk to go on to get MS. And I tell them things like avoid smoking because that lowers the risk or make sure that we supplement their vitamin D3 because that can lower the risk. This gets added to that list. Avoiding ultra processed foods looks like it might have a protective effect to help you avoid going on to have your first demyelinating event. The second paper I like to talk about is even more bothersome to me. It was also recently published uh, in January of 2023 in a good journal called Frontiers of Neurology. The title of this article is Ultra Processed Food Consumption is Associated with Multiple Sclerosis Severity. And in this paper, they looked at populations of people with multiple sclerosis, and they looked at two things, the amount of ultra processed foods they ate and the severity of their disease. And what they found out was startling. Compared to people impacted by MS that had a smaller amount of ultra processed foods in their diet, the folks with MS that ate a larger amount of ultra processed foods had associated increased severity of their disease. And it was a lot. So we talk about an odds ratio, which is the odds of having something happen. Eating lots of ultra processed foods increased the odds of a more severe disease by two and a half times. That's really scary information to read. So we have identified a serious problem ultra processed foods. They are probably contributing to the obesity epidemic here in the United States, as well as the massive uptick in metabolic conditions like type 2 diabetes. In the setting of MS, there's emerging data that they may in a small way contribute to developing demyelination, and there's clear evidence that eating lots of ultra processed foods can increase MS severity. So what do we do?